down for support. Adriano. What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another video. Who remembers this man? We all remember him. Any of us Pez veterans remember Adriano. He had absolutely insane stats. He is not in the game as of yet, but he doesn't need to be because we have found eFootball 2023's Adriano. As you see here, this is a screenshot from Adriano's player profile. You can see there he's got 97 body balance, 99 shot power, and 86 top speed with 90 acceleration. So we can actually do one better, which I think is a bit crazy and just shows you how unbalanced that some of the stats are in the game for certain players, the way you're able to train them up. Yes, it is more balanced in my club, but still, you do have a lot of players that are absolutely crazy stat-wise, you know, and it does kind of... Um, it does kind of disrupt it. So we do remember Adriano basically being able to score from anywhere. It was literally turn and shoot. You know, he'd score three, four goals a game. He was banned in offline tournaments and a lot of the tournaments that I played uh, because he was a cheat code, man. He was absolutely insane. But in eFootball 2023, we have got Adriano in his prime disguised as Marcus Rashford. So they're both 24 years of age uh, in PES 6 and in eFootball 2023. And look at Rashford's stats here, right? He is by trade a left winger, prolific or prolific winger as his play style. But watch his stats, man. He does have knuckle shot, dip and shot, first time shot and long range shooting. So he has got all those player skills that will mean that you're getting absolutely unbelievable shots and we'll have a couple of clips at the end of the video. So if you're looking to get Adriano, practically Adriano reincarnated as Marcus Rashford in eFootball 2023 because lads look let's be honest with the way the game plays at the moment I think I'm more focused on having fun and finding kind of different videos and doing different things than actually playing try hard mode um, because I don't want to play you know I don't want to play the meta like 4-3-3 triangle passes you know full bar pass assist um but anyway, yeah, look, we do want to have a bit of crack with it. So Rashford takes 55,000, I think, to train up fully, um, which isn't a lot of trainer points. And that will get us our full 66 progression points, as you see here, um, when we train him up. So he goes from a 76, I think, to an 86 or maybe an 87. Um, he doesn't have a dynamic featured card when you train him up, but still, not to worry. He is going to have a dynamic left or right foot. It doesn't matter that he's right foot. Obviously, Adriano was left foot, um, and it should have been banned from Pez 6, but uh, Rashford has unbelievable stats, lads. So we're going to be focusing on just training him up as max as possible. So when we actually do go over to eFootballDB.com, we're going to have a look here. So he has got all the player traits that you could possibly want player skill wise. We're not even going to worry about his team play style proficiency or anything like that. He is only 32,000 GP. So I think genuinely, if you get two games out of five with Rashford on the bench and you're able to actually get him on proper form where he's able to go in and have, you know, the 99 uh, kick and power and 99 speed. I mean, he is going to cause problems for no matter who you play with so we are actually going to train up his stats fully as best as we possibly can and we're just going to train him up to be adriano reincarnated lads and as i said we're not going to focus too much on the play style proficiency if you guys want to make him part of your proper squad you could train that up if you want like it depends where you want to play if you want to play long ball or quick counter or whatever we'll just throw him in there but when i am actually upgrading the player in game i'm not going to do that because we want to max out his acceleration and his balance so it depends on what you want to do and how you want to train him up depending on how you know you want to put him into your proper team or whatever we could put a few into dribbling if we want to do that um but looking there as we simulate it before we go back to the game you're seeing there 99 speed 99 acceleration so when we actually get into the, the game itself and we're back on the menu we're going to boost this up to 99 and that's going to control his kicking power and his speed and his stamina we don't need to focus too much on his balance because we're not going to be able to improve that past 70 anyway realistically but what we will be able to improve is his acceleration with his dexterity and his balance will go up to 74. You know, we're not going to get that much higher than that because we don't have the progression points to do it. But I mean, lads, like you're looking here at a player that is what? Like less than 50,000. He's only like 32,000 GP. He's got really good ball control, really good offensive awareness, 91 acceleration, 99 kick and power and 99 speed. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, you know, it is absolutely ridiculous. And 
I have Rashford obviously before I bought him on my other profile and I think I had him at like 94 kick and power and speed so I hadn't boosted him up fully um but I was messing around with his card the other day and I was on the eFootball DB uh, app and I was thinking man this guy can go up and then I did a bit of a filter and you can obviously get a couple of more players with 99 speed and 99 kick and power but you can't have the acceleration as high so Rashford has that perfect balance of everything I think he's going to be broken, man. Let me know if you guys try him out. Because as I said, you'll see from the couple of clips here, even though most of the clips are offline, uh, where we're playing the offline event or whatever, um, you'll see just the pure power of the shots with the driven shots are absolutely insane if you get the proper connection behind them, you know? And as you see here, and you'll see towards the end of the video as well that goalkeepers will parry everything. Like you're just seeing rockets here, you know, very reminiscent of Adriano with the shot power. All you had to do was turn and shoot and hope that the ball would stay low so that you could actually score a lot of goals because you are going to hit the crossbar quite a bit with the power you're putting behind them. But this is probably my favorite one here. Left foot, look at the dip on that. And this one here, watch the power. You do not know the power. Just absolutely spills it. So, yeah, bit of a crazy one. Let me know if you get 99, 99 Rashford, lads. Yeah, we're going to have to have fun with the game at the moment now and look for look for a bit of, bit of crack with it. So, yeah, I will talk to you later. And let me know if you, uh, if you try to get Rashford. All right, lads, good luck.